Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I plan my homeschool year. And I'm going to give you a look inside of this planner that I created. So if you want to see this, stick around. Okay, you guys. So come here. Come here. Let me tell you a little secret. I actually hate planning. And this is actually my first time planning homeschool. Yes. Yes. That's right. This is my very first time planning out my homeschool year. I will tell you more about that in a minute, but first I do want to say that this video is in collaboration with Abby over at Rooted in Rest and Jessica from The Waldock Way. I have been following both of them for a while and I just adore both of them. They are amazing. Abby's homeschool style is more of a Charlotte Mason style, whereas Jessica's style is more of a unschooling, unit-based game schooling approach. And I just love both of their channels. Um, you could learn so much from both of them. So I will leave both of their channels and the playlist to this collaboration in the description box. So be sure to check those out after you watch this video. I'm also excited to tell you guys that I am doing a giveaway. I am giving away a planner. Um, I actually got this and I thought I was gonna like it and it's just not my style. So I didn't know what to do with it and I don't wanna waste it. So I wanted to bless one of you guys with it. So to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, like this video, and then leave me a comment letting me know that you want to be entered in to the drawing for this giveaway along with um, one of your things about homeschooling or homeschool planning. And then I'm gonna pick a winner by the second week of September and I will contact you and I will send it to you, but I just didn't want this beautiful planner to go to waste. So I just want to bless one of you with it. Um, but it was just, I'm very simple, simple when it comes to planning. And like I told you, I don't even like to plan. Um, when I do do some type of plannings, like to plan my like scheduling things out um, or calendarizing what it is what I like to call it. Um, and I do have a video on how I calendarize. I'm very simple. I just, I don't like things in time slots. Yes, I will get to appointments on time and stuff like that because I value other people's time. But when it comes to like planning my day or my homeschool, I'm very loose because I just know things come up. That is pretty much why I made my own homeschool planner. And the reason I made this is because I actually got inspired by Jamie over at Simply Living It. I will leave her channel in the description box as well. But she created this very simple, cute planner and I was just like, wow, I need something like that. But I did want a little bit more than what she created. So I was like, I'll just create my own. So that's why I created my own. And I guess seeing how simple hers was, I realized I could make something really simple and easy too, to accommodate the needs of my family. Um, so thank you, Jamie, for inspiring me if you watch this. So the planner that I am giving away is this planner. Um, it is called the Organized Homeschool Planner by Not Consumed. And it is really cute, looks like this. I will show you more of the inside of it at the end of this video. But first, I kind of just wanted to share with you how I'm going to plan this year. I'm normally just an open and go kind of girl. I don't like to plan things because I have so many little kids that you know, I never know what's gonna happen. Is someone gonna wake up from their nap early and we're not gonna get to X, Y, and Z? Or is someone gonna decide not to nap today and then we're not even doing school because that's just not gonna happen if I got little tiny ones running around. I don't know how you other moms homeschool. I have not figured it out yet. Um, I just think for me and my family, it's just best to get most of the schooling done after when people are taking naps after lunch. And then I really love to pour into my little ones very first thing in the morning. And then I love to go outside with my kids in the mornings as well, because we live in Florida and it's hot. And that's why my hair is looking crazy now. It was all nice and now it's hot and muggy because I'm in my garage and <laughs> It's just hot. So we like to get outside in the morning, 
before it gets way too hot to do anything. Then we spend the rest of our time doing school in the afternoon. I haven't done my curriculum videos yet. Um, I will have them out. I think the first week of September is when I'm going to release them because um, I don't have everything with me quite, quite yet. I'm still waiting for stuff to come in because we don't even start school until the first week of September. So I think the week that we go back to school is the week that I'm going to be releasing all of that or the next week. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, um, one of the curriculums that I got this year actually has um, this type of homeschooling chart on it already planned out. So I do kind of have a layout going, um, but I'm probably not going to follow this to the exact because I did my father's world one year and although we really loved it, it has the same type of um, schedule in it. It was just so stressful because I thought I had to do everything and this was my second year of homeschooling so that's, you know, I didn't realize that I didn't have to do all of it and it was okay if I didn't get it all done. <laughs> I have grown a lot since then and I just realized that you need to have grace with yourself. Um, anyway, so uh, I created this homeschool planner. I just made this cute little cover. I created this inside of PowerPoint. Um, I just have the year here and then I just have uh, Proverbs 31, 25 on it along with this really cute little watercolor flower. So this watercolor flower is kind of the theme. Um, to this whole planner. I was actually gonna do it black and white and then I found, I saw this cute little watercolor flower and I was like, yep, I'm gonna just do it really pretty. <laughs> but the way I'm gonna plan this year is I'm going to do reverse planning. I am going to write down everything we do instead of writing out what I plan to do. Um, that way I have a record of what we are doing every day and I can just look back and see what we did. So anyways, pretty much what I did is I just created this cover, I laminated it, I took a piece of cardstock, laminated it, and then spiral bounded it. And now I'm just gonna take you over to my desk and I'm gonna show you the inside of the layout. Um, and then I'll kind of just show you how I'm gonna use it. All right, you guys, so this is just the cover of it like you've already seen. And I know it kind of shows the other stuff on the other side. This was all the paper I had and I was really excited to create this. So I wasn't thinking and I printed on this anyways, but it's fine. I'm still going to use it because I'm not really about wasting stuff. Um, so anyway, uh, next time I will print it on thicker paper, but this works. So I have just this attendance log. So I created all of this, this, all of this I created. Um, I did get ideas from like Etsy and stuff like that. But anyway, so I, I created this attendance records. In Florida, I don't think you have to keep track of records, but I do because I am actually under an umbrella covering. So they like you to keep attendance. Um, so that's why that's on here. Then I have this um, year at a glance. So then on this page, I have a year at a glance um, and I did it from September to August because um, we start in September and we end in August. But I think I might change it next year. I don't know how we're going to do it. But anyway, then I have this uh, month at a glance here and I have it undated. So that way, if I don't use it one month or whatever for some reason i don't use it a month i'm not wasting it to this page um i just have a weekly spread and i just did monday through friday and then all the subjects bible language arts math science slash history read aloud independent other and preschool and then i just plan to write down what we get done that day um or i guess it would be like this because this is where monday is right <laughs> going the wrong way so for Monday, I'm just going to write down what we did in each subject. And I have like five weeks of that. And then it just goes on to the monthly spread again. And then back here. So I did about six months of this, I think, just to see if I like it. And then here... I created this family curriculum log so I can just write down all the curriculum that we use. 
um, just to have a record for myself. So on this page, I am going to write down all of our read alouds. Um, and then if they are for a certain subject, I'm going to write what subject they're for and then the date that we finished it. And then over here, I just have um, where I can write down Nathan's curriculum. I have this, even though I'm probably not going to use all of this. I don't know what I was thinking. Clear, clearly, I wasn't because we don't really have this much curriculum. <laughs> So for this, I plan on just writing, so say um, whatever we're using for math. Uh, so for last year, we used teaching textbooks, so um, I would write teaching textbooks, and then I would write out all the lessons, like one, two, three, four, all the way until however many lessons it is. And then every day, I'll just cross out. So that way I have a visual of you know what he has gotten done and then what he still needs to get done. I just feel like that's going to help me a lot, being able to visualize how many lessons we have left. Um, and then I have this too because, you know, some uh, subjects might be like a, a lot of lessons and then maybe some not. So I just have two pages as this in case I run out of room on the other page. Then I have this here for Nathan's book list and these are his independent readers that he reads on his own um he, this kid reads so many books that I can't even keep track so I thought this would be really good for the both of us because I'm like I don't even know how many books you read because you read so much praise God that's a good thing right then I ha made the same thing for faith so I made faith's curriculum um, another sheet, which I don't know why I did too. Okay, don't ask me, you guys. Then I have Faith's Progress. Progress for Faith. Faith's Book List. Then over here, I have Isaac's Curriculum. Isaac's Progress. Isaac's book list, which these will probably be books that I just read to him. Um, and I'm doing this for uh, them because even though Isaac's, well, Isaac's going into kindergarten and Justice is preschool, but this boy, this is, he is a busy boy. He's very busy. Um, so that's why I had to really give him his own thing to do because he really loves it. He soaks up anything learning. He is just really into learning. So I had to figure out something for him. So he is going to do something, but I thought it would just be fun just to write it down and then um, see where he is so that I can just see what we have left to do in his little curriculum. And then, and then his book list, which will be books I read to him. And then same with Isaac. Isaac's is books that I read to him. And then for this page, I know Joy is only 18 months, but um, it's not technically curriculum that I'm going to be doing with her. So I don't even know why I wrote curriculum. Um, but I thought it would be neat just to have a little page of things that I want to work with her with, like, you know, maybe some fine motor activities um, or whatnot, because I, I like to pour into my younger kids first and just to have some ideas written down um, to do with her helps me in the morning when my brain is all that there. I am not a morning person, you guys. I am a night owl. Um, my best thinking comes at night. So I like to do things on autopilot or have things pre-written down. So this is pretty much why I have this on here for joy. But that is pretty much my planner that I created and how I'm going to be using it. So, um, like I said, I'm just going to reverse plan this year. So whatever we do, it's Monday. I'm going to write down what we did for Bible, what pages we read. Um, you know, I'm going to write down like maybe N for Nathan and then, you know, what pages in his language arts he did, what pages Faith did, what pages Isaac did. Same with math. Uh, history and science we do together as a family. So I'm just going to write down what we did that day. Same with our read aloud. What pages did we read? So independent work. Maybe they did a page of handwriting or whatever it might be. Um, or, or like their personal reading, like what they read that day. 
um, other. I don't know. I just left it open because I didn't know what else to put there. And then for preschool, I would just write down what I did with justice that day just to have like a record for myself mostly. Um, so that's pretty much how I am using this. And then I figured for the monthly, um, I might use this for scheduling my YouTube videos along with maybe planning like certain activities or field trips or something but I did do Sunday through Saturday so that um you know this is probably this is not going to just be for homeschool it's going to be for you know other days too maybe we have something planned that week or whatnot but that is pretty much my little basic simple planner um and I'm really happy with how it turned out and now I'm just going to show you guys the other planner and it is starting to rain so let's pray that it doesn't get loud and start thundering there's uh florida for you so this is the planner that i'm giving away it is called the organized homeschool planner by not consumed you can go follow her on instagram and she actually has a video on how to use this planner as well so I'm gonna just open it up here. It is really pretty, but it just had a lot of stuff that I wouldn't use in it. So that's why I was like, I would rather bless somebody else with this planner who might use all of this stuff than to waste because I'm not really big on wasting. This is a faith-based planner, obviously, because we have here um, a scripture. Let's just see, what does she have? um getting started uh i think these are just the steps to take to help you here are the five basic steps we will dig deep into throughout this planner so it teaches you the different steps how to use this planner here are some really cute planner stickers where there is no vision the people perish yes lord uh so this is a really cute planner but it was just too much for me <laughs> I'm like I like simple and easy and I don't want to have to waste this beautiful planner um so why does your family homeschool so this is great to just write down why you homeschool to give you like you know because if you don't have a why when there are hard days you might want to quit and we are not quitters in homeschooling right no we're going to persevere we're going to push through we're going to let the lord refine us and help us grow in every area um so make sure you have a why but that is great to have a why uh important things she has a life goals worksheet so this is for goals more goals more goals i think all of this is pretty much goals uh what's this uh maybe goals is this goals too maybe what you're using then we have planning i love this commit your way commit your work to the lord and your plans will be established oh i love that that's so beautiful so she has just like a little quote on each of these. Um, state requirements, that is smart. Uh, so evaluate last year. So here's a page where you can evaluate how last year went. Evaluate last year. So these are all um, to be able to evaluate last year. So on these pages, it's called our needs and this is the needs for your family so you're going to write your child's name and then i'm not sure what you would write in this box um but you're going to write their strengths their weakness educational needs so they have that for multiple children a couple pages of that um our methods mom's needs mom's likes family circumstances unique needs of your kids what we will teach early elementary so this is just um i guess a place where you can put this or these are what you're going to put there for each grade level early elementary late elementary middle school high school 
our family's methods is on this page. So this says, if you decide to choose a homeschool method, take a moment and evaluate strengths and weaknesses it has for your family. This will help you make the most of your choice. So then it just has questions to ask yourself, annual plan, curriculum plans, Extra worksheets, extra worksheets, create a daily schedule, and then this is uh, each of your children's schedules, so it has a lot for different children's. Chunk your day, so morning, lunch, after, or morning school, lunch, afternoon, dinner, and then we have space this next tab is called so here are just the different things in this i mean you could go watch her video um but then she has a tab for students there are five levels of independence and then it kind of tells you a little bit about each um thing this is what the pages to this look like personal stuff worksheet. So if you guys want to be entered to win this, make sure you comment below. Here is what the little planner looks like for the month, month's goals for the kids, a look at this month. What is this? What I'm grateful for this month this month's memories so maybe you put some pictures in there then what is this tab oh just some more of that so that i think the rest of these are just the same thing over and over just the month so that is this planner is that all of it here yep so that is the look inside of this planner if this is something that you would be interested in, please let me know in the comments below. You guys, perfect timing to end this video because it is now raining and is about to start thundering. Um, but anyway, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to check out the description box where I will leave the playlist to this collaboration along with Abby and Jessica's channel. And I will also add Jamie's channel from Simply Living It, who inspired me to make my own planner. Um, also, if you wanna be entered into the giveaway, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel, you like this video, and comment down below and let me know that you wanna be entered into it. And if you are new and you like content like this, be sure to subscribe below and don't forget to hit that little bell so that you're notified every time a new video comes out. All right, guys, have a blessed day.